by David Barron with my weekly five-minute Torah talk. Thank you for tuning in. We want to begin tonight with a special memorial prayer for those innocent children who were so brutally killed and the two teachers as well in Texas. Our hearts go out to them and their families and loved ones as we cherish their memory with a memorial prayer. And let's bow our heads as we kindle this memorial candle. Let's think about holding this candle and the fact that these parents will never again hold their children. What a horrific loss. How painful, how deep the pain. We must do everything in our power as citizens to gather together at a time like this and to comfort the mourners one of the greatest commands, comforting the mourners. So let's take a reflective and quiet moment as we look at this candle and offer a prayer. Dear God, creator of all, watch over and guard the souls of these precious innocent children who were so brutally murdered and taken from their families and loved ones. We cry out in pain at this loss, O oh Lord, and we pray that you give us the strength to do everything within our power to prevent these kinds of acts of violence against the most innocent of your creation, our children. May their families be surrounded by love and comfort at this time to help them and enable them to come through these difficult weeks and months that lie ahead. And we send our love and prayers to these families during this time of mourning and grief. Before I begin my Torah talk, I'd like to remind everyone in the LA, greater LA area to join us for our next two upcoming events during this month of June. But before I tell you about that, I'd like each and every one of you to take a moment on Memorial Day, step away from your barbecue or your beach party, and take just a quiet moment to remember all of the men and women who served in our armed forces and who lost their lives defending our right to freedom. Let's pause to acknowledge them and honor their memory. This coming month of June, we have two terrific events for you to be a part of and many others coming throughout the summer. The first event will be held on June the 5th, Sunday. It's the Jewish holiday of Shavuot, celebrating the giving of the Torah on Mount Sinai. And we're gonna gather for a fun brunch, Blintz's brunch at Factors Deli in the back patio, where I'll be reading from the Torah, the Ten Commandments, and we'll be all collectively offering a Torah blessing. So please join us on Sunday, June 5th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and contact us at our website, templeofthearts.org, for more information about securing your place with us at the table for Shavuot, the celebration of the giving of the Torah. Later that month on June 8th, and that's a Thursday night at 7 p.m., we have the great debate, are human beings inherently good or evil? Rabbi Penny Dunner will debate Dennis Prager on this very controversial topic. I'll be moderating. It's one that is as old as time, and I know you will be enlightened. So reserve your tickets through brown paper tickets, the great debate, and you'll be able to join us. There'll be tickets available at the door as well on Thursday night, June 8th at 7 p.m. And lastly, our Shabbat dinner and service celebration, that's going to be on Friday night, June the 10th at a wonderful Italian restaurant, Via Loro, on the back patio. So we hope you'll all make your reservations and join us for all of these celebratory events at your Temple of the Arts. This week's Torah portion is the, the portion of Bechukotai, in my laws. God says, if you walk in my laws, then you will be blessed. The concept of walking in the law is a really very ancient one. And it speaks to us today about those of us who sometimes talk the talk, but don't walk the walk. In Judaism, it's very important to remember that you have to have your deeds matching your words, or your words are meaningless. 
And so for each and every one of us, committing ourselves to living in God's law is of paramount importance. This period of time leading up to Shavuot, the celebration of the giving of the Torah, is known as the time of counting, the counting of the Omer, sheaves of barley that were counted, 49 days between Passover and Shavuot, which is the 50th day, seven weeks. This was a time historically of semi-mourning, of sadness in the Jewish calendar. Why? Because during this time, a horrific plague devastated the students of many of the great rabbis of this Roman era. And so it's a time that we don't really celebrate much. Uh, there are breaks for weddings and special occasions, but we think about this as a time of sadness. And with what has happened so recently in Texas, it's a time of reflection and sadness for so many of us who feel the pain of these families who've lost their innocent children. And it demands that we as Americans not just talk the talk, sending our prayers and our comfort, but walking the walk, doing everything we can to defend our schools where our most precious legacy, our children, are studying every day. What are we going to do? What steps are we going to take, concrete actions, to protect the children? This is something we all have to ask. And the solution is in many areas. You know, the young man who opened fire in Buffalo, New York, had a history of mental illness. We know that a lot of young people, especially teenagers, have been devastated by the COVID lockdowns and the isolation. And that isolation was preceded by an addiction to their devices, going online for hours and hours each and every day, watching violent films or playing violent video games. All of this together with the isolation and with the rejection that comes from being bullied or ostracized has taken a tremendous toll on young people. And that has created an environment of more mental illness. We have to address that issue as well. We have to take a unified approach dealing with every way we can protect our schools and our kids. I hope that all of us will take the lesson of Bechukotai, the Torah portion to heart, and remember that we're individuals with rights, but we're also a community of people that have to work together for the benefit of all. I hope we take Bechukotai's message to heart and that we don't simply talk the talk, but walk the walk in God's law. Shabbat Shalom.